Hola, como estas? Yo soy Senor Shepherd. Today I'm going to tell you about friendship bracelets, specifically Guatemalan friendship bracelets. I got a little bit of history here about friendship bracelets. So, Guatemala is a country in Central America. Um, if you go down to Mexico and go all the way through Mexico and you go around the Horn in Mexico, then you will eventually run into Guatemala. It's a Central American country with a very rich cultural heritage. And um, today we're gonna to talk about Guatemalan friendship bracelets. And I'm gonna read you a little bit of history on that. Um, friendship bracelets are ancient, but, but their resurgence is modern. The modern popularity of friendship bracelets started in the 1980s when they were seen during protests about the disappearance of Mayan Indians and peasants in Guatemala. The friendship bracelets were brought into the United States by religious groups for use in political rallies. Um, obviously, that's pretty deep, but, you know, friendship bracelet, it can be just for fun. Make, make a fun little craft to share with your friend. Um, friendship bracelets can have many meanings and symbolic uses, such as friendship, folk art, or social statements. Although it, it is generally accepted that the origins of these colorful bands lie with the indigenous people of Central and South America, some decorative knots can be traced back to China from 481 to 221 BC. That's a long time ago. According to tradition, one ties a friendship bracelet onto the wrist of a friend as a symbol of friendship and may wish for something at that moment. The bracelet should be worn until it is totally worn out and falls off by itself. So did you hear that? If you do this with your friend, make sure they want to, that you know, you're going to tie it on there on for them and they're going to wear it until, until it wears out and falls off. It's to honor the hard work and love put into making it. So it does take some work to make it. The moment at which the band falls off on its own, the wish is supposed to come true. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here to make our friendship bracelet, you can see my hands or my manos. These are called manos in Espanol. We're going to get our materials together. We got, I got some, you can get whatever colors you want. Que colores, what colors. Here we have blanco. This is yarn and you'll, you'll see this called hilo or hilo. Here we have azul. And I just happened to pick up this certain kind that, uh, Walmart called peaches and cream. I guess it's some fancy kind of yarn. It probably costs more than normal yarn. Uh, this is azul though, blue. Here we have green or verde, verde. And my daughter liked this yellow, almost kind of a goldish or orangish yellow to me. I don't know. I don't have very good. No, I, I don't. I don't see colors as good as she does. So once again, remember this hilo or yarn. So I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna break these open here. Get rid of that packaging. Get ready for that. So you can use whatever colores you want, but, um, and one thing you can do is you can measure your wrist and see how long your wrist is gonna be. So before you start your to make your uh, friendship bracelet, you might want to know how big your wrist is all the way around. So what you can use is a tape measure, and you can probably see that this is maybe a, <laughs> something to get help from someone else doing because it isn't easy to do by yourself. But if I go around, this is kind of a tape measure for for clothing. But if if I go around, I can see my wrist is about eight inches around so 
Yours is probably not nearly that big, but this is called a Cinta Metrico or a Metro. So I found two different definitions for that. This is you, this is one for when you're doing clothing. So mine was about eight inches long. If if you had to, you could just get a normal tape measure here. And but remember, this is a friendship bracelet, so you're gonna be thinking about your friend too. If your friend's about the same size as you, then you know it don't have to be exact, but you don't want it to be way too big. This is gonna be on your wrist, so. Once again, a metro or a cinta metrica tape measure in Spanish. So mine's only about eight, my wrist is only about eight, eight inches around. So when I go, I'm going to have to get my yarn here. And, you know, I don't really need it to be super duper long. So I can, kind of hard to show you here, but I can, you know, you can get your tape measure out and, you gotta have some extras, so don't just measure it only your wrist. At least, you know, I would say 18 inches. Maybe like 18 inches would give you tons of extra yarn if you did 18 inches of yarn. So, here's my 18 inches mark down here, and I have to go back here off camera, but if I just measure one of these, probably about 18 inches long, then I can measure the other ones off of that so so um you're going to want to do at least four pieces of yarn four four uh four pieces of yarn so the colors that's up to you so i've got one 18 inches long and i'm going to measure the other ones just right off of that one so I'm just gonna do all these colors that I have right here. I'm gonna do the azul, the blue. I'm gonna do the yellow, which is amarillo. And I'm just measuring them, measuring them off of the, each other. Oh no, I messed up. I got a hold of my yarn. And this yarn I got here kind of unraveled a little bit, so. There's two colors, azul y amarillo. Now I'm gonna do white. And like I said, you can do whatever colors you want. So, get my white across here. And I'm gonna get my green or my verde, verde. And I'm kinda not, if it's unraveling on one end, I'm just leaving a little bit of, little bit of extra so that, cause I don't want it to be all unraveling on me. So there I have my four different colors. I've got my azul, amarillo, blanco, y verde. Now, like I said, I got a couple of, couple of them are kind of unwinding, so I'm kind of leaving that extra piece hanging off. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tie those. And, you know, make sure you don't use too much of your length of yarn. You gotta leave enough for your you gotta leave enough to go around your wrist and you gotta leave enough to tie it on the end as well. So we're tying those together just in a normal knot. So get all your colors to go together here. I'm missing my white here somewhere. I have to try that again. Sometimes I'm all thumbs. Because sometimes it's easier said than done. So, anyway. Tying my four strings together in a knot. If you have trouble with this, you might ask for someone's help. Okay, there I go. I got all four of them tied together. So, I've got four different strands. Just like that. Four different colors. I'm going to lay those out here on the table. I think you can see that all right. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cinta or my tape and I'm gonna tape this to the table. Try to get these laid out here. 
Take my cinta. I like scotch tape myself, but you can use whatever tape you want. Or it's masking tape, I'm sorry, not scotch tape. And I'm gonna tape it to the table. The extra. Where the extra is, that past the spot that I tied the knot, I'm tape, taping that to the table. You might want to do it. I laid down the tablecloth so it would look nice and pretty, this uh, stool tablecloth. So um, you might want to tape yours just to a normal table, normal hard surface. If I start yanking on this, it might start pulling. But it looks like it's going to be all right. So I got my four strands right here. Four different strands of color. I'm kind of going to kind of line those up. And this is where you're gonna start weaving those colors together. Okay, so I have my, um, you know, I have my colors all taped to the taped to the table here, and I started working on it off camera, but then uh, trying to figure it out exactly. I've done it before, made these friendship bracelets, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, what you need to do is write down which color you want, which order you want your colors to go in. So I wrote down. I want my colors to go blue, blue, green, yellow, and then white. So you need to write that down so you can keep track of it while you're making it. So what, you know, I'm going blue first, then yellow, then green, then white. So I'm gonna take my blue, get that off to the side here, and I'm gonna go over the top of my green. So I gotta get it in the right order here, right? They're kind of all, they're kind of raveled together anyway as it is, but you can kind of just fix them in what order you want here. Looks like maybe the way they are, maybe, maybe you should actually just try to go in the order that they're kind of falling here. Like my, it looks like my yellow is falling falling before my blue and then my white and then my green so that's probably what i should do because they kind of fall in a natural pattern after you tie your knot so probably ought to do my yellow so i take my whichever order you want to go in take your yellow go over the top of your blue and go through and then tighten it up pull on my first string tighten it up just like that then basically what I'm going to do is then I'm going to take my first string, which they, which, you know, in the directions I saw show, showed them labeled A, B, C, and D, but I'm going to take that I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do a second knot, my first string over my second string and make a second knot. Just like that. So now I've made two knots there. My first string ended up being yellow. And then my my blue string ended up being my second string. And then I'm going to do with my third string. I'm going to take my first string and go over twice. Go over it. Go through. And then pull it tight. Then one more time. My... First string over my third string, go over again, and pull it tight, just like that. So basically I'm making two knots over each of the different colors with my first string, which ended up being my yellow string. It was yellow, blue, white, green. Yellow, blue, white, green. That's what I ended up with. Yellow, blue, white, green. Yellow, blue, white, green. So now my yellow is all the way over yellow blue white green so i'm actually going to turn off the camera for a minute and write that down yellow blue white green so i don't get confused so let me say it again it's very important that you keep track of which is your first string second string third string fourth string so mine was yellow blue white green so i started on the on the on my right side i tied two knots over blue then two knots over white and then two knots over green with my yellow so my yellow started on the right side and now it's on the left side. So keep your strings all separated. So now I'm gonna use, take my blue string 
right here, I'm gonna make two knots over white, then two knots over green, and then two knots over yellow. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go across. So let me show you, let me start doing that. Pick these two up, go over and around. Like I said, probably tie yours to a to a table and not to a tablecloth. Two over, over one over white, two over white. I'm trying to do it while they look in the camera and that doesn't work. All right, then my next, my third string was green. So two over green. Oops, it's a little bit tricky, but go over and then through. So I got one over green and then two over green. So basically I'm moving from left, I'm moving from right to left. I'm moving from right to left. If you're a lefty, I guess you could do it backwards if you wanted to. From left to right, right to left. Now, keep them separated. My blue string just a second ago was on the right, now it's all the way to the left. So you gotta make sure you keep track of your colors. Yellow, blue, white, green. So I did my yellow, did my blue, now I'm doing my white and then I'll do my green. So white over green. Once, go over and go through. White over green again, over and through. Okay. Then white over yellow. Twice, over and through, and then white over blue. Keep them in order. So eventually my yellow string, which was my first string, is going to end up all the way back over to the right. See, it's kind of working its way over here. You can kind of straighten this up as you go. So once again, I started with, my order was yellow, blue, white, green. Yellow, blue, white, green. But now, I've done three strings. If I do this fourth string, over like this, twice, and don't forget to do it twice. Yellow, then the blue, twice and then the white twice you gotta keep track it's really important you keep track of your order move it across now do you remember what color was my first second third and fourth what order were my colors in they were in yellow blue white green look where they're at now yellow blue white green you got to keep them on doing it like that. Yellow, blue, white, green. So let me pull them over here to be centered right here. You can kind of see my, my bracelet is getting started right here. Starting to come together. So let me say this again. You got to keep them in order. So I've already gone through one pattern, yellow, blue, white, green. So here I go again. Yellow, I'm going to take and tie, tie two knots over blue, two knots over, red, knots over red, two knots over green. Yellow, blue, white, green. So yellow over blue, then over white, then over green. Twice. So that's over blue. Keep them in order, yellow over white, yellow over green. Yellow, blue, white, green. Three, 
2 over white, and 2 over green. Now my yellow went from, like I said, keep them in order. My yellow went from being on the white, being on the right, all the way to being on the left. It's starting to take shape right here. Your friendship bracelet right there. Look at that. It's starting to really get weaved together. Isn't that, isn't that neat? So, it was yellow, blue, white, and green. So now I'm going to take my blue, go over my white with two knots. Sorry, go over my white with two knots, my green with two knots, and then my yellow with two knots. Over and through. Just make sure you keep them in the right order. Write that down so you don't forget. It was yellow, blue, white, green. So I just went over the white. I need to go over the green. Two knots. And then the yellow. You're going from right to left or left to right if you're a lefty. One. Two. Remember what I said, keep them in order. Yellow, blue, white, green. Now we have our yellow, blue, white, green. Yellow, blue, white, green. The next will be the white over the green, the white over the yellow, the white over the blue. And you can kind of see it's coming together right there. So I've been working on it for, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 more minutes. And as you can see, it is coming together. So really the key is to go in the same order every time. So I, I wrote it down, yellow, blue, white, and green, yellow, blue, white, and green. So my next step will be go over the yellow, over, through, tie the knot, go over, go over, sorry, the yellow over the blue and through, and then tie another knot two knots on each color so my yellow will go to the blue two times then over the white two times then over the green two times so you can kind of see it here i've got i keep my pieces of yarn separated so that i don't get out of sequence if you get out of sequence you can have a little you can have problems you can kind of see right here there's a little bit of green out of place right there i think i either didn't pull my knot my knot tight enough or i uh somehow got out of order a little bit but you can kind of see it here blue white green yellow blue white green yellow blue white green yellow blue white green yellow so just working our way along so it's actually starting to get some length now um, see if we can get the measuring tape out here. And remember, my wrist was eight inches around. So this is like five and a half inches long already. Also, something to remember, as you are doing it, you kind of have to straighten this out. Kind of have to work it over with your hands and straighten it out here so that uh, it doesn't get bound up or anything. Next, I'm gonna show you a view as I'm kinda, as I'm weaving again. So here's a uh, picture from the different point of view, but I got it taped down so I can grab a hold of it like this and kinda pull on it. Yellow over blue, go through, tie it tight. Yellow over blue, go through, tie it tight. Then I'm gonna do yellow over my white, pull it through, tighten it up. Yellow over white, pull it through, tighten it up. Then go to the next color. Yellow over green. Once again, two knots each time. So, I went, then I kind of have to straighten it out here. So, my yellow started over here on this side and moved its way over to this side. Now I will take the blue Go over the white and work my way across. Blue over white. 
blue over white, then blue over green, blue over green, blue over the yellow. So my yellow, which is my primary color that I started with is gonna work its way back this direction. White over green. You don't have to be, and I'm not super good with my hands or anything, so you don't have to be the best to do this, but you know, over green, then over yellow. Then over blue. Two knots in each one. Now you can notice, like I said, my yellow a minute ago, I gotta straighten this out here. My yellow a minute ago had worked from this side to this side. Now it's working back across here. As soon as I do my green across, one, and I can pull on it because I got it taped down. Two. Do my blue. One. Two. Then do my white. One. Two. Now I'm back to my original sequence of colors here. I'm to my yellow, blue, white and green so you can since you have it taped down you can be pulling on it right here so it so that you can kind of lift it up while you're weaving your guatemalan friendship bracelet okay so i've got mine about eight inches long which is was about the size of my wrist um i just about ran out of my yellow so earlier i said maybe cut your pieces of uh, yarn 18 inches now I'm thinking maybe more like about oh 24 inches or two feet would be a good idea to cut your yarn a little bit longer in case you don't um, you know in case you have an issue you can that way you can plus you need to have something some left over here on the end so you can tie it so I think mine is good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually peel it up off of the off of the table here and you can see take my tape off and you can see what I'm left with here a pretty little bracelet Guatemalan friendship bracelet and it turned out pretty well I made a few little mistakes I can see in it there and that's why I said you have to keep it you have to keep going in order if you want it to, you know, keep the same. If you want it to look nice and neat, you have to keep it in order. So, uh, what I'm going to have to do next is have someone tie this on a friend or have a friend tie it on me. So, I have to cut off some of the sex ass, but also this is going to be a little bit stretchy. So, if, you know, if you don't quite get the size of your wrist, it is going to stretch out. Plus, you'll have this extra here to tie it on with. So, uh, let me go get a friend to tie this on for me. Okay, now I'm going to have my friend tie on my Gu Guatemalan friendship bracelet. So, I made my strings a little bit too short. So, just be, be sure that you, um, if you can, that you leave yourself plenty of room there to make it easier to tie on. And now she's going to cut off the most of the extra, not all of it, but most of the extra for, for it. And there you have your friendship, Guatemalan friendship bracelet. And you could cut off more here if you wanted to, but remember, 
you don't ever take this off. You wait until it wears off and falls off. So, I hope you had a good time making this project. Adios.